Hi, this is Andrew here. <laughs> and I'm here with BuzzFeed. Wow! And I'm gonna be reading your dirty little thirst tweets. For f <laughs> sake! Hi, Andrew Scott. If you're reading this, I love you. Uh, it's my agent. You're fired. Oh, what? No. Do you ever just wanna spend your entire life touching Andrew Scott's butt? Because same. Going red already, you can feel it. I hope Andrew Scott is ridiculously happy right now. I hope he's in love. I hope he wakes up with a smile on his face. I hope he's drinking enough water. Do you know what I really am not drinking enough water? Um, am I doing any of those things? Well, that'll be telling. <laughs> Watching Fleabag isn't enough. I need the hot priest to ask me to kneel. Kneel. Andrew Scott is in the top 10 hottest actors of our generation. This man has me out here ready to risk it all for a priest. Except I'm not really a priest. It's all made up. I'm going really red, I think. Paul Mescal and Andrew Scott being sexy, hot, and flirty together. Me, sobbing. Don't see why that's sad, do you? Why do people cry when they feel turned on? Don't ask, why? Shh. Paul Mescal and Andrew Scott have, have such horny, extremely horny chemistry. It makes me a little embarrassed and giggly. Well, that's okay. I always find it so interesting about tweets is that they're always answering questions that nobody's asking. <laughs> okay, just think that. Just think it. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I need to write down? I need to write down this. Paul Mescal and Andrew Scott have such extremely horny chemistry, it makes me a little embarrassed and giggly. Now, I'll have lunch. <laughs> it's so weird. Okay, I cannot even blame Fleabag for falling in love with the priest. Andrew Scott has that riz. I don't know. Yeah, okay. You I'll take that. Is? Yeah, riz, careers, careers. <laughs> Andrew Scott, I'm a full-time lesbian, and as far as I'm aware, you're a full-time gay, but I would do anything for you, short king. Please run me over with a bin lorry or something. That is fully lesbian. <laughs> bin Laurie references. But I'll do that for you. I don't really want to get my hands dirty in a bin. I once played a refuse collector, so I could get that prop pretty easily. And then this person, whose name I won't reveal, I'm gonna knock you and any of your lesbian friends over <laughs> whenever you're available. If you just bring some hand sanitizer, which as a lesbian, I know you will. No stereotypes. Andrew Scott, choke me with your biceps. God, this gets worse. Do people go, do people, like, how do people do this? Okay, here's a lengthy one. Before I watched Fleabag, I looked up Hot Priest and I was like, ain't no way you're, y'all are thirsting over Moriarty. But then I watched it and realized he was doing sexy things like listening to Fleabag and noticing her and I kind of started to see it. She kind of started to see it. She didn't fully see it. She can go f herself. <laughs> I want Andrew to Scott to be my sugar daddy. That's just creepy. Anybody who wants anybody to be their sugar daddy is lacking in morals. You know, we've got to keep the standards up here. Okay. Andrew Scott, lots of emojis. This emoji, crying and a star. Okay. Damn it, another f***ing Irish Andrew that I would let redacted me on a, redacted with a, redacted while on a huge, redacted and 12 redacted. Okay, let's work this out. Another f***ing Irish Andrew. Is there another Irish Andrew? Does she think Andrew Garfield is Irish? <laughs> St. Andrew? The guy who played the lead in The Commitments was called Andrew. That topical film made in 1990. He was hot. I would let, okay, me on a, like, swing, on a seesaw with a tennis racket while on a huge come down. <laughs> and 12, the end, and 12 apostles? I don't know. <laughs> blasphemy. Blasphemy, priest, blasphemy. Anyway, we've, I've, I've got over the blasphemy thing. Okay, good. If Andrew Scott wanted to do to me what he did to Phoebe Water Bridge in Fleabag Season 2, Episode 5, I would pack my bags, leave my husband, my job, my dreams, my sanity, what's left of it, and let him swallow me up with the power of the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> this person has a way with words. Swallow me up with the power of the Lord. Okay, right. I want to be Fleabag just to f Andrew Scott in the f***ing priest costume. Neil, he said. I'm so weak. I like the way she's given a little reminder. <laughs> he just, he said, Neil, I'm so weak. Well, you need to eat some carbs. I've always wanted to f*** Andrew, Andrew Scott as Moriarty and Sherlock, and I want to f*** Andrew Scott as the priest in Fleabag. What does this say about me as a person? Anybody? <laughs> <laughs> right, Andrew Scott could f*** the life out of me and I'd be cool with it. It's like she's sort of, as if someone is saying that she wouldn't be. He actually could, and I'd actually be cool with it. Janine. Let's talk about Andrew Scott's hands, and perhaps even draft a bill to categorize them as sinful weaponry. Lol. Okay, if anyone ever touches my neck like that, I would die. Is that related, or is she talking to somebody else? Did I touch, touch, oh, I touched Paul's neck, did I? I want Andrew Scott to break my back like a glow stick. Thanks. I won't even say what their name is. 
Wow. I swear Andrew Scott could make me have a whole orgasm just by the sound of his voice. Oh, yes. This is a lot. Okay, nearly done, nearly done. Andrew Scott owns my hole. For f <laughs> sake! Wow! That's from somebody called <laughs> Paul Meskell apparently licks off Andrew Scott's chest and all of us strangers. Cinema is so back. <laughs> well, that's true. Ain't it, ain't it true? I feel like, I feel so alive. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you, BuzzFeed. Uh, Ripley is on Netflix. You have a text there for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs>